It is time for us to talk about derivatives. But we know all about those, right? We know what the derivative is. Think back, think way back to when you first learned calculus and you learned the following definition. The derivative of f of x at x equals a denoted f prime of a is the limit as h goes to zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all divided by h. That's the definition. Hopefully you remember that. I'm sure you remember what this means. What does this mean? What this means is slope, right? You've got the graph of your function and you look at what is happening near some input a and you change that input by an amount h. If you look at the change in the output, f of a plus h minus f of a, divided by the change in the input, h, you take the limit as h goes to zero, that gives you the slope of the tangent line. And that's cool, and we all remember that. But we interrupt this program with an important reminder. You have to be careful when it comes to the definition of a derivative. There's a difference between definitions and interpretations. Definitions are not interpretations. Interpretations are not definitions. The definition of the derivative is in terms of a limit. The slope is merely an interpretation of the derivative and not a definition itself. Now, each has its own uses. You need to know the definition. You need to know the interpretation as slope, but there are more interpretations out there. And slope is going to be among the least useful such interpretation when, in the future, you think about derivatives of multivariate functions, derivatives of vector-valued functions, derivatives of vector fields, and other objects which you have not yet encountered. Derivatives are deep, and they are very worthy of our contemplation, but you're going to have to learn a lot more about the definitions and interpretations. Make sure you understand what derivatives are and what derivatives mean.